Hello, this is Kopi Lung Sati, and I am here to compare the um the lava U um and the Enya Acoustic Plus. These are both instruments that have onboard effects and amplification. They're both polycarbonate instruments. The lava U was close to 400, I believe, and the Enya is close to 200. They're both under 400 and under 200, but the Enya is half the price of the Lava U, roughly. Uh, okay, and uh, there are pros and cons to each instrument. I hope. But they are totally different. I am just extremely spoiled and lucky that I should happen to have them both at this time. Um, I got the Lava U for my birthday, um, and I, I love it. I adore it. Um, I, I bought the Enya for myself as a, uh, as a, as a kind of a foolish spending choice, but I do like it a lot and I don't regret buying it though. I, you know, I, 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 I bought it impulsively and I, you know, I should be more mindful of those things in the future. But while I have them both, I will show them off. Um, so I, as if this has not been done before, this is not the first, uh, comparing co comparison between the Lava U and the Enya Nova with acoustic plus uh, stuff built in. There's also uh, an acoustic Nova that's um, I guess a little less than half the price or roughly half the price of this one. So you pay double the price but you get uh, onboard effects and where did it, where did it, oh, I have that one with me frankly um, uh, I have been playing my non electric my non uh, effects driven uh, ukulele my, um, my <clears throat> this orange one which if I can't get it out of the case then just use your imagination I did another video with it it looks like this, but it's this color. But uh, I've been playing it more than any other instrument that I've got that I've acquired within the last couple of months. So I've had this one since August, and I've had this one uh, for maybe a week. I'm not sure exactly. And I've had this one for a few days longer than that. So give you the time frame. So this one is the more expensive one, and it comes in a uh, it, it comes in a this crazy space age hard case. It's, it's really cool looking, and, and uh, 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 when you get it, that's all you get. You get the ukulele and the really cool case. There, there is a an accessories package you can get and it's like a hundred and I want to say it's like something like a hundred and fifty dollars and it comes with a, a strap and a cable and some pics not a whole lot of stuff and, and I see it advertised on Amazon as the accessory package that comes for this um, but uh, it does not seem very practical uh, to me uh, for the price and uh yeah so i i don't know if it's any good or not <sighs> but um in comparison the enya novas uh come with this cool semi hard case and a little bat and, and it comes and it comes with a strap which frankly i very very seldom ever use a strap because a lot of ukuleles are just not made for one, and uh, to, 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 uh, you know, they don't have, they're not very strap friendly, and uh, they want one to come already with a strap and, and a capo. Another thing I very, very seldom ever use when I play, it comes with a capo. So it comes with a case, a capo, a strap, and extra strings, and it's half the price of the Lava U. 
I'm not trying to be mean towards the lot of you by any means. But uh, it's fun. It's fun to play with a capo. I've never had one before. Or I have, but I never normally play with one. So, uh, um, so you get a lot of stuff, and I, and I like all the stuff that you get, and it's all, it's all matchy-matchy, and, and it's and it's cool. And you get that with the acoustic plus, and then you get that with the regular acoustic without the stuff. Okay, so here's, um, um, and, and so both of these instruments, uh, uh, are futuristic in that they charge with a USB port. This takes a regular micro USB, and, uh, and, um, you kind of have to charge it for a really long time for it, it to, uh, and then it, and then it, it'll keep its charge for roughly, I think they said two hours, but I could be wrong, but it, it doesn't stay charged forever. Um, the instructions, which I should have, uh, they, they, they explain it. It, 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 you have to kind of charge it for a long time in comparison to the Lava U, which I think it, it charges more quickly and it takes a USB-C and both of them come with their cables that they charge with. This one comes with a USB-C cable that has a little, it, it bends at a 90 degree angle. I use it for everything and that's probably wrong. But uh, yeah, it, so it, because when you charge it, you have to put, the, you have to put it up inside the sound hole like so to charge it. I might as well let it charge now because the little light indicates that it's kind of low in battery. So that's good if I'm going to be doing a demo of it. I have, haven't have played it in a while. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to try, okay, this one you turn it on by clicking this button. Come on. And it turns green. So, and then the volume, okay, this is how it sounds with the volume all the way down and the effects all the way down. Turn the volume up a bit. Don't really notice a difference there. All right, and then I'm going to turn the effects up, turning up the reverb. I think it's rather subtle. I'm going to turn up the chorus, so I've got the chorus and the reverb. I'm going to turn the volume all the way up. And it's not going to be super duper loud. And there's the chorus and the reverb all the way up. not very loud but you can plug it in and play it through an amplifier so uh, uh, I will probably do that in a separate video um, so if I turn the chorus down and just have the reverb I turn the reverb all the way down and the chorus up then. Yeah, 
it's a little coarsey, and I'm sure it's more pronounced when it's played through an amplifier. Um, and I will, I will get around to doing that. I haven't even played it through an amplifier myself. But, um, so, that's how it is. It's not very loud, but you get those effects, and it's, you know, it's subtle, but you, 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 you do get something from it. And, uh, and, um, uh, I, I think it's rather pleasant. All right, so that's the uh, Enya Nova Acoustic Plus. If you, um, which the, the company is, uh, I'm in I'm in Houston, Texas, and they are also in Houston, Texas. So that's kind of neat. I didn't know that at the time until I, after I bought my first one, this orange one. I was reading the, the papers and I was like, oh, they're in Houston. And I had no idea. Uh, uh, but I think they're in one of those. Houston has multi m many dimensions, and so they probably live in one of those alternate dimensions in Houston. Uh, that's it. All right, so m the light on this is still kind of orangish, which means like it, it needs charging, I guess. But um, And they advise you not to turn it on while it's charging. Uh, I've not tried it. Um, all right, so things with the Lava U. It has more effects on it. It has one more knob. It, uh, it has. Uh, it has. Um, it has. <sighs> to me, they are very hard to read. I cannot read the writing. There's tiny, tiny writing that says what the different knobs do, and I believe the power button. I'm gonna have to shine my flashlight into the thing. To uh, figure out what I'm looking at. All right. So the on-off button is okay. The on-off button is inside the sound hole, and also there's a little switch that um, that that goes between chorus and delay, and then there's the USB port for charging. So I'm going to turn it on, and the green light comes on. So it, it is charged, and I'm thinking the reason why Enya Nova was not very loud is because perhaps it needs to be charged some more. Um, so I've got I've turned it on, and I have a choice between chorus and delay, and then tiny buttons. The top is reverb, the middle is effect. So that the the the, the top is reverb. The middle button uh, is a knob that that. That you turn up and down the, um, I guess the amount of of the effects that you're using, and the bottom button is volume. So I'm going to turn the volume all the way up. All right, I'm going to turn the effects all the way up, first and foremost, and I have it on delay. So let's see how this sounds. I like the delay, but the delay is very nice. So if I turn the effects knob all the way down, oh, and I forget, I've forgotten already. Yeah, I'm going to have to give myself a, a cheat a thing. So I've turned the effects volume all the way down, which means uh, the vo the regular volume is up, but the or the but the level of the effects is is the the volume of the effects is down, I guess. So that's that's with the reverb, and you can still kind of hear some kind of effect. 
Uh, it gets confusing going through all the different knobs. Alright, I'm going to switch over to, uh, to chorus. I guess you couldn't hear any delay, but you could hear reverb, because the reverb knob was up with the... <sighs> it's confusing. Alright, I'm going to turn the effects knob all the way up. And this is, this is chorus. Is it with the um, delay? I mean, no, sorry, the chorus. And again, I'm, I have to look at this every time. So that's with the reverb all the way up, and the chorus all the way up, and the volume all the way up. And I'll turn the reverb down so we can see what it's like with the chorus and no reverb. Definitely hear that that chorusy kind of wah sound, and then of course it plugs into an amplifier, uh, like an acoustic electric, and you can uh, add all kinds of your own effects to it, in addition to the ones that are built in. I'm pretty sure it works okay with that. Um, uh, we'll go back to delay. I prefer delay to chorus. So that's the delay. That's the delay without the reverb. So I'm going to turn this. That's what did I just do there? That, that's how it sounds with the effects kind of turned down and the reverb all the way down. So it's kind of versatile in the different uh, combinations of uh, of the the effects. You when you mix and match the uh, the the chorus and the delay with the reverb in different formations uh, and um, and so. And 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 this, the effects are rather pronounced to me, um, and I believe the volume is louder. So this is twice the price of the of the Enya Nova, and uh, and I can see why. Um, I like I like the effects and I like the different features that it has. It's a different instrument altogether, really. So they're really, they're really both worthwhile, you know. I cannot really say that one of them is better than the other. This one has f features that are. Oh come on! Turn on for me. All right. Well, my poor little Nova has gone to sleep, but it still sounds good. It still sounds has a very nice acoustic sound. Of course, it's a little bit heavier than, than this one because it has all the stuff built in. 
and I think that having all the stuff built in kind of changes the sound a little. And when we take this one and we try it out just acoustically. It has a different tone. And um, I tend to like the tone of the Enya's for just acoustic by itself, I tend to like the tone better, uh, but it's it's different and it's a matter of personal preference. And I'm not a virtuoso player, as any of you who have seen my channel know. I sense there's like a reverb, a kind of a residual effect. I, it seems like it's, it's doing a reverby thing, even though it's not turned on currently. Yeah, because the, it, 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 the battery died. So the battery life of this is short, and I believe it's shorter than it is on this one. But it is a half half the price so but but the sound on its own is and I guess I should go ahead and compare the sound of the of the acoustic to the sound of the uh, electric one the plain acoustic uh, it doesn't have stuff in it that do kind of alter the tone a bit. So, and I didn't tune this one up ahead of time, so. difference in the tone because this didn't have a bunch of stuff inside of the body it's louder to me it's, it's the sound just having all the electronics inside of it kind of deadens the sound a little bit so that might be the reason why I've been favoring this one and I've had it a little bit longer and I like the color better and I let a friend I let a friend play with it and he said it was the best ukulele he had ever played Might because it's orange and there was a, a, a friend who likes the, who likes the color orange and that he said the, the, the thin the thin travel style body is is pleasant is ergonomically pleasant and the whole instrument is very aesthetically pleasing and I tend to like the orange better than the blue I just didn't want to have two oranges so I got the blue um, but I got the electric, and uh, if I had had any wherewithal, I would have just ordered this, this electric one. But I didn't realize until after I got it that the Acoustic Plus version even existed, because um, I don't think that they have them on Amazon. You have to buy them directly from the Enya uh, Music website. If I'm not mistaken, I could be, because you can get the Enya Nova Acoustic on Amazon, but not the Enya... Um, Nova Acoustic Plus. Um, so anyway, 
so yes, there's pros and cons. I really am not trying to pit one against the other. I'm just making a compare and contrast video. Uh, there are things I definitely like about the Nova, and there are definitely things I like about this one. And I guess it's up to you if you only have to get one or the other to decide whether you prefer having one that comes with a strap and a cable and and uh, and maybe not as loud of effects um, versus this one which comes with a really cool space age case and has really cool effects but you really have to memorize what these buttons stand for because you can't read the, the, the writing and then there's other things that are inside and you can't see it and they're, they're kind of hard to the accessibility is awkward. Um, advice: uh, When I first opened this, um, the, the 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 charging cable with the bent with the with the angle um, the angled bit, I didn't see it at first. It was hiding in the styrofoam. So be sure to, if you buy this one, to look in the styrofoam shell that the case comes in. There's a wind. There's a hidden. Uh, window where the cord is kept. It's kind of separate from all the other stuff and I overlooked it um, and I kind of had to go back to the discarded packing materials and find it uh, after the fact uh, and uh, yeah so that's a uh, advice for um, to uh, be on the lookout and it's a, it's, a, it's a great little charging cable and I guess I should plug this one back in and I need to go find the charging cable for my Nova because she is completely dead now and um so da -da -da, you know it is a half the price and it's still very cool and it has onboard effects and all the stuff and it's more user friendly and it has a strap uh and a capo and you know aesthetically I like them both in different ways I I, I cannot really uh say which one I prefer is, is uh, I just, you know, um, but they're both, they're both neat, and, you know, I don't mind having them both, uh, yeah, da -da -da. um, I guess that's the end of this video, it's already pretty long, and I'm going to go and try to go to bed, because it's almost three in the morning, take care, thank you for watching, and, uh,